Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Um, today, I wanted to talk about charts again. I just finished a video about charts where we built this chart over here for the role center. Um, and I did talk about the limitations. Uh, we did a, this is a chart built out of the customer transactions and it shows the customer balance um, for a particular salesperson. But uh, we could not show the name of the customer because uh, that was not available in that table that we built it out. Uh, I could use the customer table just to kind of reiterate that there are workarounds about some of these things. If I use the customer table instead of a customer transaction table, um, then I could use the name here and the customer table actually does have balance. It gives me the balance. Um, I'm not going to change that here though. What I wanted to go over in this section is something uh, called chart view, which exists on almost every single list in NAV. So if I go here into the customer list, and you're probably familiar with this. This is a standard customer list in NAV. And uh, you can actually view a list as a chart, almost any list. And the only thing I need to do here is just click on this show us chart. Now, most of the time when I, this is brought up, um, it actually comes up empty because you have not set the measures that you want to see. So in my opinion, it should come up with some standard measures, maybe change that. But um, the way it ships out of the box is that it just comes empty and you have to figure out uh, which measures you want. And then you have these uh, three tags over here, a measure over here, you have a dimension over here, and then you have a dimension over here. So uh, the idea is to set these properly so you'll get something here in the uh, chart. Now, knowing which one is which is kind of hard, doesn't tell you. But what you can do is actually right click and hit customize. And you get the same window as we were interacting with uh, in the previous demo. And I actually like to work from here because here I can uh, see what is the x axis, what is the x or uh, x and z axis axis um, and put in the description things like that. So for the uh, x-axis I'm quite happy with name so I'm just going to leave that at name uh, and for the y-axis I want to see the balance. So I'm looking for the same thing as I'm showing on the first page just a balance in the local currency um, like so and I don't need the z-axis. If I want a 3D visualization, I could, of course, set up a z-axis. Not interested in that right now. I just want to see the balance by name uh, of every single customer in there. So uh, in this case, I'm not filtering for the salesperson like I did before. Um, this is all I want to see. So if I hit OK, you can see now I have balances for customers. Now let's see if I wanted to do some filtering. I can go in here and click on limit to totals, just like I would do in a list, uh, and add a filter. And uh, with limit totals, just to refresh you, your memory, I can put in uh, specific uh, filters for like a date range, etc. So let's say if I only want to see uh, 2018, so in the demo, we're always in the future. So I'm just going to show 01, 01, 18 to 12, 31, oops, 12, 31, 18. And now that updates. Now we're only looking at that particular period. And let's say I want to add one more filter. Just put in the advanced filter. And I'm going to put the balance to be non-zero. I'm not interested in the ones that don't always anything. Uh, so now I'm getting down to like a manageable um, set of customers. 
If I wanted to see only Peter Sados, I could do that as well. So I'll just go in here and pick up the salesperson in the filter, just so that we do the same thing as I did before. And now we see that. So we have balances for Peter Sato, only for 2018, so any old balances before that are ignored, etc. Actually, the thing is, if I put a date filter, this is worth noting, um, there is a field called net change, which is affected by that. So, so this, these are the ones that are have any balances incurred uh, in 2018, and there are still remaining uh, for Peter Sato. So you can do like uh, charting right here on the list, and then if I go back and show it as a list, you can see the data that I'm working with. And then I can go back and see it as a chart. So, so this is uh, fairly useful if you like to see, to see things quickly, visually. And I don't think people are using this a whole lot. I, I just don't think they have gone beyond the step of clicking customize and getting the measurements in there. Um, but if you do, I think you find that uh, you, know, you quickly visualize things and you come to uh, quick conclusions. Um, you know, because sometimes images are tell you a lot more than uh, just numbers. Uh, that's what I wanted to show in this demo. I'm going to continue on the chart journey. Uh, probably be a, a couple more videos. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments. Or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.